Hey everyone, it's Trish with Bird Feed. In today's video, I pulled together 30 uh, really great items to include in your Operation Christmas Child shoe boxes for 10 to 14 boys, all from the Dollar Tree. I know many often struggle with boys' shoe boxes, particularly in this age group, so I thought it'd be fun to see just how much I could pull together from the Dollar Tree alone. And quality items. These are some of my favorites. Now, I wouldn't say that these are wow items per se, but uh, instead ideas to fill up your box and add fun and, and interest. First, we've got a deck of playing cards. Actually, this is two, bet, two decks for a dollar. Um, dollar Tree does sell single decks in um, their own box, so it's easy to uh, replace them into the box after you're finished playing with them so you have a place to store them. But um, these are my favorites because uh, you get uh, two for the price of one. So um, you, you get more bang for your buck, let's put it that way. So you might want to include a rubber band with these just so they can keep them together after they're done playing with them or something so that they can store them. Um, I do know that uh, many sending countries are not allowed to send playing cards, um, but OCC US not only um, allows them, they actually have these listed on their um, suggestions to, to send 10 to 14 boys. So a deck of cards would be number one. Number two would be some playing some dice to play some games. Um, you can send only two. You can send the whole pack. You can send four. Um, this is a 10-piece set for a dollar, which I have not even been able to match that price uh, when I looked uh, at Amazon online when you buy them in bulk. And, um, you know, you can play all sorts of games with dice. You could make up games, you can uh, play mathematical games, and um, just, uh, it, it could be educational as well. So I think that's a good item. Then regular games, uh, particularly um, travel-sized games for our shoe boxes. Um, the Dollar Tree carries these classic checkers all the time. And it comes with um, the checkers pieces and a foldable, uh, it's a little vinyl uh, checkerboard. It just folds up as small as you want to fold it. So this is a great item to include. Then around Christmas time, I found these tic-tac-toe games and um, picked this up for one of my shoe boxes and I don't know if they carry this year round, but um, they do carry other games as well. So I thought these would be a great item to include in a 10 to 14 shoe box. Then uh, logic games and brain teasers. Um, the Dollar Tree typically carries these types of games and um, they usually have more of an assortment around Christmas time. So these puzzle balls are kind of cool. And um, I've actually tried this one, the plastic one, it's quite challenging. So I think a 10 to 14 boy would enjoy those as well. Then something to build. Um, the Dollar Tree carries these erector or bolts, I think. Um, I think they used to come in with the name Erector on them, and now I see them with bolts on it. These are by Spin Master, and um, both of these happen to be 30-piece sets. They're for ages 8 and up, and they come with the tools to put them together. There's an airplane and a race car. Um, and then also... The, they have little sets of building blocks, and um, this is a 21-piece set. makes a little car, and they are compatible with 
major brands, so I'm assuming they mean Legos. So that is cool to put in there, something to build. Then um, jigsaw puzzles and this 100-piece puzzle bug puzzle by Crazy Art is one of my favorites, and they com it comes in all sorts of pictures and patterns and they have new ones all the time. They have some really cool ones. So um, this is a favorite to include in 10 to 14 boy shoe boxes. Um, marbles. Now, I will say I bought these marbles at the beginning of last year. It's 100, no, not 100, I'm sorry. It's 50 marbles and a shooter. Um, but I didn't see them come in at Christmas time like they usually do this past year. Um, typically, I've, I've found them almost year-round. Uh, I've bought them year after year for many years, so I don't know why they didn't get them last year. And they, they don't come in this bag. They come in a, like a plastic net bag. Um, I happen to put them in this fabric bag that I also got at the Dollar Tree. Um, I got three. It was a three pack, three for a dollar. And so I, marbles is a great item to send. Surely they will get these in again at some point in time, I think. Um, a top. This one lights up when it spins. You have to spin it really, really fast for uh, it to light up, but I can't get it to spin that fast inside the package. Um, this is a fun one to include, and I've seen other types of tops at the Dollar Tree as well. So I think that's cool. Um, the Dollar Tree is one of my favorite places to buy Hot Wheels and Matchbox cars. Um, I think they have probably the best assortment. Um, now they are a few cents more expensive than getting them at Walmart. I think Walmart sells them for 94 cents, but quite honestly, um, I find them to have a better assortment even than Walmart, uh, particularly when they've just gotten in a new shipment. So I think... Hot Wheels and Matchbox cars are a great item to include. Um, over in the Teaching Tree section, you can find quite a few things. Uh, a favorite of mine is this inflatable globe. It's not only a like a beach ball, it's a ball to play with, but um, they get a map of the world at the same time, so it's educational as well. So this is a fun item to include in a 10 to 14 shoe box. Uh, a journal is a great item to include. Now, um, you will find mostly girly <laughs> journals, but boys like journals too. And um, I found this one with the constellations on it. I've found some other ones. I've seen um, some by National Geographic that were cool. Um, but yeah, I think a journal is a great item to include in 10 to 14 shoebox. And then a novelty pen to go with it. This happens to be an alien. And what's more fun than an alien that's eye pops out of his head when you squeeze it? So I thought that was cool. Um, a water bottle. The Dollar Tree sells BPA-free water bottles. They are not the highest quality water bottle, but I've used these myself for a long time, and I think they're fine quality. Um, they are not dishwasher safe, but um, these kids likely are not going to have dishwashers. So they do sell them in um, they, some shorter styles um, that I think may fit in a shoebox the short way. So they take up even less fate, less uh, excuse me, less space. I think if you can uh, just concentrate on the ones that have a wide mouth, most of them do, that you'll be able to fill these up and uh, 
conserve space in your shoe boxes. So a water bottle is a great item. Uh, a full-size pair of scissors. Dollar Tree sells, we uh, is it Westcott? Yeah, Westcott scissors all the time. And um, these are actually mine, which is why they're printed. Um, you don't have to buy the ones with the print on them. And the, I, I don't know that they have these all the time anyway in the print. But um, I think a, a young man could appreciate a full-size pair of scissors for himself, especially if you're going to get him something like um, duct tape. So colored duct tape is another fun item to include in a boy's 10 to 14 shoe box. The Dollar Tree has a huge array of um, flashlights, just regular mini flashlights. And some of my favorite ones are the aluminum ones um, by Sunbeam. And, you know, they also sell the mini ones at plastic, all, all sorts of uh, different colors and, and shapes, what have you. But um, the ones I have here, uh, this one is an emergency flashlight. I found this um, around Christmas time and I saw it last year as well around that time. And um, it's an LED light that when it uh, goes low on charge, you push the lever and uh, charge it up. And then a uh, more of an ambient type light. Um, this can be hung from something. It comes with this little uh, stand in the back. Set it up on a, a table or a desk. And um, it takes, this one takes two, I'm sorry, three AA batteries. And it's a great, great little, um, like, work light or camping light for anything. So a flashlight is a good item. Um, a tape measure. These uh, Dollar Tree carries these 16-foot uh, tape measures all the time. And the 16-foot one is a lot more compact than some of the 25-foot ones that you see. So that's a great item to fit into a shoebox. Carabiners. Um, again, I have looked on Amazon, and you might be able to get carabiners a little bit cheaper on Amazon, but you have to buy them in bulk. So if you're not into buying them in bulk, um, the Dollar Tree is, is as good as any. You can buy a two-pack. These are 2.55 inches or 6.5 centimeters. And this one is, um, I think it was four and a half inches when I measured it. It doesn't say on it, but I, I had measured it. And that one's four and a half inches, which this one's really nice. And those are aluminum. And a... How about a, a package of rope? This 40-foot um, diamond braid rope is really nice, comes with its own reel. Now, this is going to take up a little bit more room in your shoebox, so if you don't have a lot of room, um, you might want to go for something a little bit more compact. This is paracord, 25 feet of paracord, and you can't buy this in even in Walmart at these prices. This is an excellent price for this rope and that comes in an array of colors. So I think that's a great item to include in a young man's shoe box. Um, the Dollar Tree sells a couple of different um, styles of bungee cord. I recommend the ones with the metal hooks on them. I've actually used these myself and they're um, pretty good, I believe. And they have one with a plastic hook on it. I read some reviews on that, though, that the plastic snapped after, you know, too much tension. So I would go with the ones with the metal hooks on them. I think that could be a very useful item 
to send to a 10 to 14 year old boy, as would be uh, these nylon zip ties. Uh, this is uh, a pack of 100. These are the smaller zip ties. They carry all sizes, um, really long ones and uh, these shorter ones. These are four inches and 5.9 inches. It's 100 pieces in there. So those could be really useful to a 10 to 14 year old boy. Um, some toiletries. How about uh, some lip balm? I usually try and get the three packs of lip balm at the Dollar Tree whenever they have them. Uh, and they have them often. These happen to have been um, the Lip Smacker brand that I found at Christmas time and it came in the Coca Cola flavors. So this is a good item to include one, all three, whatever you want. Then uh, a first aid kit would be a nice thing to include. This one has 21 pieces in it. Uh, it has three different uh, sizes and shapes of the sheer bandages, um, some knuckle bandages, some gauze pads, and some alcohol prep pads in here. And it's a nice thin package. And the container, when he's finished with it, could uh, be good for something for him as well. Um, nail grooming supplies. Dollar Tree sells the toenail clippers for a dollar. And um, this whole set, which includes a nail brush, a pumice stone, and a fingernail clipper. Now, I, personally, I, I leave out these, um, these are toe separators for when you paint your toenails. I leave those out. But um, this is a pretty good price for these as well. Now you can buy these on Amazon cheaper in bulk. But again, you gotta buy them in bulk. So if you're not into doing that, this is a good place uh, to purchase items like this from the Dollar Tree. A hairbrush. This one is a travel hairbrush and it just pops out, has a mirror on it. I think any boy 10 to 14 would appreciate a hairbrush. Then I found um, shoelaces at the Dollar Tree. And this is six pairs of shoelaces for a dollar. And I thought, you know, it's, if, if the child is lucky enough to have a pair of shoes, um, his shoelaces might become tattered, torn, broken, and he's going to need some shoelaces. And putting a brand new pair of shoelaces on some old shoes might make him feel like he's got a brand new pair of shoes. And if he doesn't have shoes or doesn't need shoelaces, he can use them for anything to tie up. So, uh, yeah, I, I thought that was a good idea. Shoelaces. Then the Dollar Tree carries t-shirts all the time and some really nice brands. Gildan is one of my favorite brands. Also jerseys um, that they carry. And I've seen Hanes and Fruit of the Loom and other brands there as well. Um, just check them to make sure there's no flaws in them on a occasion. You will find flaws, but just check them out. I'd say 95% of the time they are perfectly fine and good quality. So I think a t-shirt for a dollar is a great item to include. The Dollar Tree recently started carrying these 100% cotton bandanas. Um, that it's just one bandana for a dollar. Now they uh, have carried forever uh, a two pack of bandanas, but they're uh, like a synthetic. So personally, I like to include a cotton bandana because 100% cotton is going to be a lot more um, absorbent and useful than uh, something synthetic, in my opinion. So they, um, a bandana would be a great item to include. Then the Dollar Tree is uh, one of my favorite places to buy stickers. I would say my favorite place to buy stickers. They have the biggest assortment 
of stickers, typically. Uh, as of late, since Christmas, I would say, they have been having a hard time playing catch up, filling their stickers. As soon as they get a shipment in, they're gone. I haven't seen the stickers totally full in a couple months. But um, great assortment for boys. This happens to be motorcycles. They have race cars. Um, here are some fun outer space aliens. figures and I think there's planets in here as well and here's some more outer space ones very cool and um, just sports stickers so stickers are a good item to include in a 10 to 14 box the other thing that is my favorite to buy at the Dollar Tree. I don't really buy coloring books anywhere else because the Dollar Tree has the biggest assortment around and they're only a dollar. They're not $3, they're not $5 or a dollar. And um, I love these adult coloring books for a 10 to 14 year old. They're a little bit more challenging but look at the cool pictures in these. They're just beautiful. And then if you don't like putting in um, the adult coloring books, which some may not, just uh, th these are really, from Crayola, they're really cute, cute, funny pictures for a 10 to 14 year old boy. So that's a lot of fun too. So that's 30 items to include in a 10 to 14 year old boy's Operation Christmas Child shoebox, all from the Dollar Tree. There are many items that they carry that you could also put in a shoebox that I have not included here. Um, but these are my favorites. You know, I find these to be the best quality for the, the uh, price. And um, that's it. So I hope this was helpful to you. I hope you found um, some ideas that maybe you didn't think of. And if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Thanks for watching and I will see you next time. Bye now.